Hello and welcome to the video by Trumpixel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use NOT function in Excel. NOT function takes one single argument. So if I type NOT here, hit tab to autocomplete the function, you can see it takes one single argument which is a logical argument. So it should always return either a true or a false. So let me show you how this works. If you simply type true within NOT function, it will give you a false because it has converted true to false. Instead, if you write false instead of true, it will give you true. So it just reverses the logical value. So instead of using true or false, you can also evaluate conditions within true. So for example, let me use a cell reference. Let me use a2, which has the value 20 in it. And I say 20 is greater than 10. Now, this is true because 20 is greater than 10. If you hit F9, you can see that this returns true. I would hit Control Z to go back. And since I'm using not function, it would convert this true into false. So you can see that it takes either uh, a logical argument or a condition that returns a logical argument. You can also use numbers, but it would also be treated like logical values. So as I have mentioned earlier in my videos that any number greater than zero is considered true and any number which is zero would be considered false. So in this case, if I type one, which is considered true, not would return a false. So if I hit enter, you can see not returns false. But here, if I use zero, which is a false, then not will convert this in to true. Now you can try this with decimal numbers as well. If I type 0 0.1, the, this logical argument converts into true. And since I'm using it within not, it will convert this into false. So this is how not function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.